السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most compassionate, the most merciful, all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He who is guided by the will of Allah, no one can misguide him. And he who is misguided, no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم إن زلزلة الساعة شيء عظيم يوم ترونها تذهل كل مرضعة عما أرضعت وتضع كل ذات حمل حملها وترى الناس سكارى وما هم بسكارى ولكن عذاب الله شديد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وأصلي وأسلم على مبعوث رحمة للعالمين محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه وعنا معهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Respected brothers in Iman Today's khutbah inshallah will be about uh, a question We need to refute a doubt to solve a problem Now for many reasons someone like myself who's a specialist in Islamic faith, Islamic sharia comparative religions, we do receive a lot of questions sometimes because some events about 
the following concepts. Will those good and nice people who deny God and deny the hereafter go to the Jannah after death or not? I repeat, the good, nice people in our terminology, humanly speaking, those who donate, who help, who are really very nice, and we agree upon that they are excellent people, but they reject their Lord. They decided willingly, they refused. When someone of those people is about to leave this worldly life, or if he or she left this worldly life, the debate starts. Are they going to be in the Jannah or not? And we have some intellectual fights. <laughs> Always happens. Okay? They must be in the Jannah. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. Okay? Now, with all respect to whatever you think personally, my job basically now to help my respected brothers to know the academic scientific basis for the answer on this question. Yes or no and why? So the concept that in the coming few minutes, basically, if someone is good here, but he denies his Lord, what is his status when he passes away? Let's agree upon the following things. Now, let's agree upon that this is a faith-based question. We are not discussing medicine now. We are not spe speaking about science, applied science. We are not discussing mathematics now. We are discussing faith. It's something. I believe, you believe, he believes, she believes. So, let's pay attention to number one. Number two, let's agree upon that. The Jannah that we have, the discussion about it, belongs to Allah. <laughs> it's not mine or yours. <laughs> so basically, when we say, he, she, in the Jannah, yes, no, let's just remind ourselves that we are fighting intellectually about something that we do not own. <laughs> it's not mine. It's not ours. It's not yours. It's not his. It's, it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's agree upon this. So, common sense, let's listen to the owner of the Jannah, what he has provided us with, with regard of how, why, depending on what, he will be allowing some people and he will be rejecting some people. Common sense. Okay? Now, and let's agree upon that. What I'm going to talk about as a concept, basically, it's not just we Muslims that we claim. It's the same for all religions, which means if you go to a Christian believer now, if you ask him, do you have a faith law? Do you have a creed? Yes, please imagine that I'm an atheist. Okay, I don't have any religion or I'm an agnostic. And I came across a Christian guy. I told him, please, make some marketing for your religion for me. Maybe I will love it. Tell me, okay, how can I be a Christian and why should I be a Christian? He will be telling me the following. He said, you have to believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of Lord, Lord himself, Lord's incarnation. God incarnated in the body of Jesus Christ and Lord himself came down to earth he decided out of his mercy, I'm quoting now, okay, and to crucify himself and he was crucified on the cross as a redeemer, as a savior. If you believe in him as your savior, you will be saved. But what if not? You will not go to the kingdom of God. <laughs> This is what the Christian will tell me. And I don't blame him. Because this is his, his what? Faith. Okay? If you go to a Jew, the same thing. He believes in one, two, three, four, blah, 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 etc. Okay? If you don't believe in this, you are out of the fold of my religion. Go to a Hindu, go whatever. So let's agree upon these things. Before we discuss things just emotionally, that what I'm going to say, wherever you go, you will find it. From their point of view, and we are talking from our point of view, our faith. Now, what Allah says, I have tens of evidences. I will be giving you just five, very quickly. Those five evidences, two of them are general, 
And if the time does not allow me, maybe I will give you just two. One of them general, one of them direct to what we say. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقة. This is the introduction. Allah says, the truth stands out, that no compulsion in religion. This truth stands out clearly from falsehood. So it's clear. Right, wrong. Okay, good, bad. Now, فمن يكفر بالطاغوت. So, Whoever renounces false gods and believe in Allah, he has certainly grasped the firmest and unfailing handhold. So Allah is telling us, this is two ways, right, wrong. It's clear, you understand, you realize, you feel, you know. So you are asked to renounce false gods and to believe just in one. Number two evidence. In Allah, la yaghfiru ay yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru maduna dhalika limai yasha. Indeed, Allah does not forgive associating others with him in worship. But he forgives anything else. If I decided to associate myself with God, I'm an associator. If I decided to put my desires, my tribe, my people, my system, my law, my group, my whatever, I'm associating. Allah should be only the only God to be worshipped. This is a general just introduction because the time is limited. Let's go to the direct answer by Allah to my question. A'udhu Billahi Shaitan Rajeem. من كان يريد العاجلة عجلنا له فيها ما نشاء لمن نريد ثم جعلنا له جهنم يصلاها مذؤما مدحورا ومن أراد الآخرة وسعى لها سعيها وهو مؤمن فأولئك كان سعيهم مشكورا كلا نمد هؤلاء وهؤلاء من عطاء ربك وما كان عطاء ربك محظورا. This ayah we called it it's a direct answer to the doubts. The translation. Whoever desires this fleeting world alone, we hasten in it whatever we please to whoever he will. Then we then we destine them for hell, where they will burn, condemned, and rejected. But whoever desires the hereafter, look now, whoever desires, okay? Woman arada, his will was directed to the akhirah, desires the hereafter, and he strives, wasa'a laha sa'ayaha. For it accordingly, he was doing what the conditions of getting into Akhirah should be done. And is a true believer. It's a condition. It's not mine. It's the owner of the Jannah who's putting this. A, a true believer. It is they, those striving, will be appreciated. We provide both the former and the latter. The one who arad at dunya al-ajila and the one who directed his will to the akhirah. We have groups of people. Some people decided willingly they want just this worldly life. They don't care with the akhirah. It's as if, wal-iyadu billah, as if they are looking to their Lord say, God, we don't care. So please don't interfere in our business. Practically. Lisan al-hal. This is what they do. So Allah says, we will give this and this. It's your decision. It's your cause. It's your call. If I decide I want just this, Allah will give me and will reward me just here. If I decide I want the akhirah, Allah will give. But with striving, sa'alaha, with a condition, wa huwa mu'min. Kullan numiddu ha'ulai wa ha'ulai min ata'i rabbik. Allah is justice. He's not just, laysa adilan, adl, al-adl. He is the source of Justice. He gives me the power of intellect. I realize he gave me the inner nature, al-fitra. He gives me the law, al-wahi. And he gives me the freedom of choice. If I decided that I don't want you, ya Allah, and don't want your religion, it's my problem, not Allah's problem. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues uh, قال, وَمَا كَانَ عَطَاءُ رَبِّكَ مَحْظُورًا It will not, no one will be prevented from this road, but it's me. Now a simple example. Imagine, just to make it easy, very quick three examples and finish inshallah. Example number one. Imagine that now we, all of us, we are outside Canada. We would love to come to Canada. Canadian authorities announced clearly the only condition that will allow you to get into Canada just to fill an application, regardless what you fill it. Just fill an application. All of you, you decided to fill this application. I decided willingly with my willpower, I don't want to fill the application. So I was rejected entry into Canada. Is it the problem of the Canadian authority or my problem? It's my problem. If a nice, wonderful humanist was sitting there and he said, actually, Canadian authorities are committing a big crime against Amjad because they must allow him. Okay, they did not prevent him. They said, fill the application. I said, I don't want to fill the application. Is there any just, no, I don't want. Any fear from, no. Any misunderstanding, no, I don't want. I don't want. So the problem is mine. Another example. A good, nice restaurant, Walillahi al ala is inviting all of us for a free meal, open buffet, whatever you desire. His only condition is you should clean and wash your hands, just. And he provided you with the water by the, ent <laughs> by the entrance. All of you decided to clean your hands, I refused. <laughs> Without any justification, I don't want. And I was not given the permission to have the nice food. Is it the problem of the owner of the restaurant or mine? It's mine. So the final example, if I invited all of you to my house to have a nice meal, some of you or one of you and my only condition to come to my house was just to take off your shoes. <laughs> just, please, when you come, take off your shoes. One of you insisted not to take off his shoes, and I refuse to get him enter. Am I a mean, stingy person? Am I? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everything is free. I'm welcoming everyone. Please just come, please. And I have my reason why to take off your shoes for, you know, hygienic purposes. If someone refused, it's his problem. The time is limited. I was asked just to finish in a few minutes. I just wanted just to send a message, please. When we want to answer, we are not more merciful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He created the Jannah. He put the conditions. Whoever would like to go it, let him or her follow the instructions. Otherwise, it's my and his and her problem, not the problem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, whether we loved or not. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak. Wa astaghfirullah wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah. إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم ارحمنا فوق الأرض وتحت الأرض ويوم العرض عليك يا كريم سبحانك لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر وأنت على كل شيء قدير اللهم ارزقنا الإخلاص في القول والعمل وارحمنا وارحم بنا وهدنا وهد بنا اللهم ارحمنا وارحم والدينا ووالد والدينا وأصحاب الحقوق والواجبات علينا يا رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعد والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون Before we قيم الصلاة Please when we finish إن شاء الله uh, we will be guiding you how to leave the place by instruction, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Aqim salah. Allah, 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 Allah,